Hey what's up guys, so before I begin the video I quickly wanted to talk to you guys a plugin that I created for Unreal Engine 4 called WCG Plugin. <laughs> it's a very simple plugin, uh, but um, the basics of it uh, is uh, this plugin exposes some of the variables inside the project settings development. And um, down here I listed some of the uh, some of the variables that it exposes and um, you guys can read it here and it's basically the project description project id project name and project version uh, but currently the total variables there are inside is 20 and um, it does support windows 64 bit and 32 bit and it also supports linux so if you are on a linux machine uh, you should be able to uh, use this plugin as well and it is going for 11 48 dollars at the moment and um, so uh, I can show you guys some of the screenshots and so uh, yeah, I will uh, leave a link down in the description for you guys if you want to check this out um, it will be really appreciated if you guys can uh, support me in uh, my plugin I created and um, it's very simple to use and I I hope you guys uh, will like it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey what's up guys and welcome back to the third squad SDK video. So in this video I will be showing you guys how you can quickly set um, a game mode for your uh, map. So um, like before uh, in the previous video where we set our mini map and stuff um, in the same world settings tab just below this it will say game mode now if you have created your own custom game mode you would select this but um, for this uh, tutorial video I will just choose um, this BP game mode training and um, so in here you can leave everything like it is and um, so uh, also I forgot in the the first video how to show you guys how to set a camera or the map camera so what you basically can do is uh, let's just go hmm where is the let's just select the uh, sport operating base and just go near and then so here I will just say camera and we'll just drag in a basic camera just pull it up a bit and I will turn this um, a whole 90 to 180 degrees and just make it so it looks down and now in the world settings under gameplay we'll just set our camera that we just put down and now if we click play you guys will see when it loads it uh, activates this camera and not uh, you looking into the skybox so, uh, and then you can just still do the same stuff that we did before and um, yeah so uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and like and subscribe if you haven't already and um, also remember to uh, check out the links in the video description and I will see you guys in the next one.